In this video, I want to share a simple method for rendering images of infinitely large size. A computer's power is not always enough to render an image with very high resolution. This requires a lot of RAM, especially when the image size exceeds 10,000 pixels. A simple solution comes to mind. Divide the image into smaller parts and then stitch them together. But how to do this in Maya without disrupting the settings and camera angle? In this video, I will show you how I do it. So, I have a model that I need to render at a resolution of 17,000 pixels in width and 10,000 pixels in height. I set the required resolution in the rendering settings. and click the Start button. After a while, the rendering simply refuses to continue and shuts down. On this computer, which is a laptop, I can render images with a maximum resolution of only around 5,000 pixels. Therefore, I will use this size to determine the individual parts. It's not difficult to calculate that to render the required size of 17,000 pixels by 10,000 pixels, I need to render four images with a height of 5,000 pixels. I take a screenshot of the main image and divide it into four parts. This way, I can see which parts of the image I need and where the boundaries of the rendered scene should be. I also need to consider that when stitching parts of the image, I may need a buffer for a smooth transition at the seam. To divide the overall image into four parts, I first go to the main camera settings and increase the prescale value. I can do it without changing the camera rotation. Using the film translate values, I move the image so that it matches one of the parts into which I divided the main image. This does not change the physical position of the camera at all. Now, I simply save different camera values that correspond to the four parts into which I divided the main image in the timeline. After this, I can just switch frames to transition from one part of the overall image to another. Now it's time to render all the frames. You can also render them automatically as an animation. I start rendering the first part of the main image. I won't render the parts finally, as it will take a lot of time. I think this quality will be enough for an example and understanding of the principle. I also save each rendered part. Once all parts of the overall image are rendered, I can combine them into one very high-resolution image, which I could not render in one go on this computer. Now it's simple. Import all the rendered parts into one canvas and align their edges. Done. Now you can crop the image as needed, and you will have an excellent result with very high resolution. If you need even higher resolution, 
You can divide the image into 6 parts, 12 parts, and so on. There is no limit here. I hope this short lesson will be useful to you. Subscribe to the channel and give me a like if you enjoyed my tips. See you in the next video.